guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Sabrina and I hope you're having a super sparkly day. Today's video is a Dorcas inspired look from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I had a lot of fun creating this and I absolutely love the show, even though it is my name, which is kind of weird to watch. But I hope you like this look. Before we hop on into the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. So let's get on into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the voiceover. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this really super easy hairstyle um, for Dorcas's look. She wears like a milkmaid braid style. So I just went ahead and split my hair into two sections and then brushed it out and I just started braiding. I have super super long hair so this kind of takes me a while but if you have shorter hair it'll go a bit faster. Um, and once I get done braiding one side, I just do the exact same thing on the other side. And one little tip that I like to do after I get done braiding, when you go to twist the hairband around the end of your braid, I like to leave it kind of in a loop. That way you don't have crazy ends sticking out that you're trying to hide. They're all tucked away in this little loop. And you can see that in just a second after I finish braiding this second side. So I just grabbed my headband and went ahead and twisted it and made that loop. That way those ends are all tucked. And after that I just went ahead and pancaked out the braid just to give it a little bit looser and make the braid appear a little bit bigger. And then all you do is cross the braids over your head and pin them down with bobby pins. This is a super easy hairstyle that you can definitely dress up or down, or in this case, recreate Dorcas's look. And since, again, my hair is so long, I had to tuck in some of the braid underneath the other pieces of the braid. And yeah, you just pin them across and then kind of position the braids however you want to get the look you're trying to achieve. And I went back in and made sure to pin these down really good so that they would stay in place. I think this is a super fun hairstyle too to definitely wear either dressed up or down and then we're gonna go ahead and start in on the makeup so the first thing I took was baby skin and just primed my skin and then went in with the Maybelline master superstay matte foundation and I took this on top of a kabuki brush and just applied this to my skin just so that you have a nice matte base similar to that of Dorcas She's definitely one of my favorite weird sisters from the show. Who is your favorite character? Let me know down in the comments below. And after everything's all blended out, I just went in with the Maybelline Master Concealer and just applied this underneath the underneath my eyes and down the ridge of my nose and used a beauty blender to go ahead and blend that out. And then I took some e.l.f. powder to just set everything. that's all done I went ahead and primed my eyes with you know my favorite eye primer the Maybelline Master Prime I really love this product I think it's great and it really does help your eyeshadow last all day 
it gives you a good base to start with as well. And then I went in using the Morphe Fall Into Frost palette with a light peach color and just to go ahead and get a base down and then I took a gold color and started applying this to the inner corner and uh, middle of my eye. Then I took a coppery shade and started applying this in the outer corner of my eye just to get that kind of copper look that Dorcas has. Then I took an even darker copper and went ahead and started carving out that crease along with some light brown and red brown colors to just really define it. She's got this sharper edge to her eyes that are, make them more like a cat eye. I, I really love this look. This was so fun to create. Um, and finally I took Jaclyn Hill's palette with a little bit of chip and mocha again just to deepen up that crease and the outer V along with those other coppery shades and golds that were inside. And then finally the deepest color I took was called Central Perk and I really put that and focused it in the outer V of the eye and underneath but not all the way, just in like the outer third of the eye. And I sharpened up that crease uh, again with that light brown and reddish brown just to go ahead and give it a good look. And I went back in with a little bit of the, the gold color and applied this. And I, as we go along, I just went ahead and touched everything up make sure that I had everything pretty blended out and all the colors that I wanted to help create this Dorcas look. Again, I'm just adding a little bit more of the chip and mocha and central perk in that outer V to get it really dark and have that witchy look. You can use any palette that you have that has these like coppery shades and a dark brown. That's really all you need to help recreate this look if you don't have any of the Morphe palettes that I used. And after I got all done with the eyeshadow, I took the NYX Matte Liner. I went ahead and made Dorcas's classic wing to finish off this eye look. I love this eyeliner. It is so good and it's so easy to apply with the tiny, tiny brush that they have in the bottle. It really does help in creating wings to have that little tiny brush. After that, I just went in with some casual liner and uh, lined my waterline. And then I took the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and went ahead and gave my lashes a really good coat of this. That way you don't have to wear any false lashes. And then I took the Hula Bronzer and went ahead and contoured my face uh, using an angled brush. I find that this makes it a lot easier than trying to just use your regular fluffy brush. And then I went in with this dark plummy shade for some blush. I just applied this really lightly and then I took the Wet n Wild 
highlighter in Moonlit Glow and applied this to my cheekbones and down the bridge of my nose. And I went back in with the Beauty Blender just to make sure it wasn't too glowy because Dorcas doesn't really have extra glowy skin. And finally, I went in with the Wet n Wild Hexalent. I thought this was a perfect choice for this lip, for this look, since this is, of course, a witchy look. That's it for this look, guys. Are you after you get done applying your lipstick? That's all. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun creating this Dorcas-inspired look from the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Until next time. Bye. It's a